Hey everyone, so I actually accidentally overdrawn, overridden, covered up, I don't know, covered up my original popsicle that I made, but uh, basically the process for all the popsicles that I did is exactly the same. So if you want to learn how to make a really cool watercolor popsicle in Procreate, please keep on watching. The reason why I am not doing a formal intro is because my eye has swollen over and I don't really want to show you guys out of sheer embarrassment. Okay, bye. Okay, I'm just gonna get this a little more in the frame. So, we are working with a 5,000 by 5,000 uh, square image here. Um, I do have a texture on that has, uh, that creates the look of a watercolor paper, which is right in here. If you would like a tutorial on textures, uh, let me know. More than happy to give that. But I am thinking that we should probably sketch uh, something out to um, kind of use as a reference for our popsicle. So. What I'm going to do is go under sketching and go with a 6B pencil. I don't like to use straight up black. I usually like to go for like a gray or something that isn't so um, harsh on the piece of paper. So let's draw our popsicle. Some sort of rectangular kind of shape that flares at the bottom. And this doesn't have to be perfect, like this is just a reference. And then I know a lot of people like, sometimes they'll have the, the big stick, or the ones that kind of flare out like that. Kind of like something a little more like this. Or you can like actually hold it and this is just a sketch this is not going to be our final drawing so it does not have to be perfect okay cool so I'm just going to rename this layer Oops, not catch, sketch. I'm just going to bring that down. I'm going to set this to multiply so we can see what's going on underneath. And I'm just going to use one of the palettes that I have already been working with. I'm just gonna kind of use a combination of a few of these. So let's start off with like a Start off with like a purple one. Most of the colors I, or brushes I use come from this Everything But Watercolors brush set. I bought this off Creative Market from someone who is super talented at making brushes. I'm just gonna choose this Lazy Daisy. Let's see if we can use a brush that's a little bit darker. Ah. So I'm just going to erase what I just did, going with this guy. This is Inky Velvet Brush, or let's try the staining one. Mm, maybe not that one quite yet. We're going to use what about Japanese wet ink. Yeah, that looks good. We're gonna use a Japanese white wet ink. And we're just going to outline the shape that we drew. Let's make this completely white.
I'm going to make this the alpha lock. And then let's go over with a bunch of cool textures from this everything but watercolors brush set that I have. If I can find it. Everything but watercolors. There we go. Let's try some of this. Let's try some of that. Cool. We got a few screw ups, but we're okay here. We're gonna set this one to, let's just make this like a purple. We're gonna go back down. I forget which brush I use. Oh, that's like the worst thing on the planet is like when you know you use something, but you don't remember where it is. Drawing, Blackburn, there we go. And let's just see if we can make these little loops. going to see how we can potentially make this really awesome. Color burn might work. Okay, I just had to change my battery, but essentially what we did with this guy was we put him on darken 15% so you can still kind of see where he is. Actually, let's See what happens if we do other things but see you can go through these and kind of see what works best some of these absolutely do not work subtract might subtract might luminosity might too Let's leave it on luminosity. And all I did was come into a Gaussian blur and adjust the blur on this guy. So I already did that. So I'm not gonna touch that anymore. But I need to do some highlights on this guy. So I'm just going to make my value white. And I'm gonna go in with this Blackburn brush again and see if I can pull out some details here. We're just going in with that Blackburn brush again. Okay, let's see what we can do here. We're gonna go into our layer. And see what we can do to kind of make this look like it is part of the picture. Hard light is kind of cool. Luminosity is pretty cool too. Let's see if we can turn up the blur on this. I'm going to add another layer and I'm just going to darken up these a little bit. And this doesn't have to be perfect. The 
Let's try luminosity again. Let's turn this down. Let's go into Gaussian blur again. I like that up more. This guy, let's do even more with this. Any motion blur? Nah, that's getting into too much. Let's try Gaussian blur. I kind of like it where it's at. Okay. So, let's see what this looks like on paper so far. So the only thing that I really want to do here is make it look like this, this coloration is kind of building up on the sides. So we can do that with um, some edging brushes. So I'm just going to go down to this brush set that I got free from Wooly Pronto here on YouTube. She is fantastic. Highly recommend her videos. And we're just gonna go in and kind of outline everything since we already have it on Alpha Lock. Can you see what this does here? It just kind of makes it look like it has that watercolor buildup that the color is just kind of pooling on the sides. And this always kind of takes me some practice. So you might have to go over a few times. Not really loving that one. I'm gonna try Damp Bleed. And actually, Let's just make this a whole new clipping mask on top of this so we don't have to worry about all the shenanigans that we might interrupt. No, I'm not really liking that one either. Mm. Let's go to everything but watercolors. Let's go to dark edge. Let's go down here to this pink. And let's set the mode on here. See how it just made that a little bit lighter pink? Let's make that multiply. And you might have to do this a few times to get kind of the look and feel that you want from these watercolors. but I personally like to go in and kind of make this messy but realistic at the same time because watercolors aren't perfect. You'll suspect that these watercolors aren't real when you can see all the perfections in the work. I'm gonna come in here and see what we can do with this. I'm going to change the layer. Let's make this screen. Ah. Okay, let's see what this does. So I'm just gonna out, oops. I'm gonna outline these guys right down here, the ones that we blurred before. We're on a completely new layer. I kind of wanted to see how this would look. And we can blend some of these out. I'm using this Blotty Blender from Ovoli Pronto. Now that's looking like a popsicle.
I'm just going to adjust some of these layers. See what I can do here. Awesome, that's looking better already. I don't really love this scraggly thing down here. I'm gonna see if I can blend that out. We're gonna take the alpha lock on, otherwise it won't be able to blend. And wherever it looks a little too hairy, go in and blend that sucker out. We want some hairiness, but we don't want like the whole beast, you know? Like, it's okay to have edges that are messy and whatnot, but we don't want the whole beast. Okay, this is looking pretty good. If we move our little popsicle stick guy over, Let's see what we can do with him. We're gonna move this under. Let's actually erase him. Eh, nah, let's keep him. During this whole process, I kind of changed my mind a million times. I kind of just want him more even. I'm gonna use this old brush. I'm gonna go into the color that I had before. So if I go into palettes, I. I think I chose this one. Nope, but that's okay. Yeah. Let's put our sketch back on before I, I do any more chaos. Let's try first step. This is under the everything but watercolors brush set as well. I really like that. Nah. Okay, let's go back into our drawing brushes. We're gonna use this black burn again. We're gonna use white. And we're gonna turn off our background so we can see kind of the shape of this. So I like to use white and then build up the color on the shapes. Alpha lock. Let's just go in and destroy this thing with some brown. Brown. Kind of want to use a warm tone brown. Let's use this guy because it kind of looks like popsicle color. And I'm going to be using these textures again. What on what eight? These are all from the Everything But Watercolor. And I'm just going to line this. Oops. Let's try a darker color. We're gonna have to use a new layer. No. Clipping mask. Okay, and let's go in and make sure that this doesn't look insane. Go luminosity, let's turn that down. And let's blend that guy out with this um, blotty blender from Wooly Pronto. Okay, let's go in, let's hide our sketch. And let's just move this guy over a bit. Oh, <laughs> never mind. 
combine these down, move this, That's looking like a sexy popsicle. I don't know about you guys, but trial and error, this looks good. Like, look at that. That looks like a real watercolor. I kind of want to add some like splishy splashes on this guy. This doesn't look right to me for some reason. I need some like darker colors or something or something to mess up his day. There we go. I like that. Ah, the other one was better before. Nope. Nope. What the heck? This one? Oh, it's because we have it on black. No, we want it on brown. That looks good to me. Let's try it again. Every time I use this brush, it's like something new comes out of it. Nope. Nope. Not bad. Let's see if I can do some like drops on it. Let's do this blotchy glaze color. And let me just try that on this guy up here. Try alpha lock. Nope, liked it before. I do want to lighten this one up though. Let's select it. Go the hue, saturation, brightness. Oh Lord. Looking a little dirty. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, let's see how that looks, and then let's see if we can. better to me. I'm just kind of messing with these. I actually kind of don't know what I'm doing with this. Yeah, that's looking good to me. Let's try to go in and like mess something else up. Let's see if what can happen when we do this guy. We're back on my favorite brush, what on what eight? Nope. Nope. Make it smaller. Nope, too much. Let's blend this guy out a little bit. I don't like that one down there. And let's erase, oops, some of this. Or no, let's just blend it in with the woolly body blender again. This is on alpha lock, so we need to take that off to blend anything outside of our colors. And these, let's just erase whatever is kind of like way outside our water, watercolor kingdom that we got going on. So like this stuff, this stuff we should blend in, not too much. Erase this, and I just have the eraser on the regular round brush that you can find under painting. We don't have to have it be super crisp, 
But it's just nice to know that you, you know, your edges are pretty clean. This would be good for exporting out for whatever people might want to do. I sell my stuff as clip art. Well, bam. Sexy po popsicle improved. Cool. I'm gonna draw a few more of these and see how they come out. Excuse the noise, my AC just went on, which thank God it was getting a little toasty in here. But this, let's see if I can focus more. This is my actual listing photo with all the popsicles that I just made. Here, let me put down so you can see a little bit better. So these are all the popsicles that I just made. I just put them on this cool little listing. Um, and these are all of them in total with uh, watermarks over them. So I, I love how they came out and I hope that um, this clip art that I made brings someone some kind of joy or um, success or whatever it might be that they might be using it for. I will leave a link to my Etsy shop. So if you would like to purchase this, I will leave a code for 20% off. Cool? Okay, awesome. Thank you so much for sticking with me through this tutorial. I know it's not perfect, but these popsicles are pretty freaking cool. All right, until next video.